Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We survived Modern Warfare 2. Oh my God. Yeah, what's going on guys, man? And welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. We're finally here and you guys know what a new Call of Duty means. It means a new camo grind. And I've already been sat here grinding for a few hours on this first assault rifle. If you guys don't know, I believe there's six different assault rifles for me to get. And of course I started on the first one. I've already done a bunch of the camos. I've tried ranking it up as much as possible. We got the 50 kills with the SA545. We got the 50 kills whilst ADS with it, of course. We also got the 15 headshots. Now we need to get the 25 kills in tactical stance, but that's once we get to level 30. And then we can unlock our first gilded camo, which then we have to do get three operator kills with one magazine 10 times with this gun. But listen, before we get into the game, if you guys are hyped for this camo grind, listen, the camo king is back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. I'm going to be grinding non-stop, no sleep. If you're hyped, drop a like on the video. Give me some motivation, please. And also, if you are new around here, subscribe. Do it! We're going to be grinding all the way to this final mastery camo for multiplayer interstellar. Apparently, it looks really good in game two. So it's going to take us a while, but we're on our way. And look at that. We got rust first game. What are the chances? So literally, I've just been running around trying to get as many kills as possible because you guys know the main part of the camo grind is realistically getting your weapon leveled up. That's what takes the longest amount of time. The actual challenges tend to be really easy. Look at that. We're level 28 now. We need to get to level 30 before we can actually do the final challenge. So there's no point in me trying to do anything right now other than get kills, honestly. Ooh. I know a lot of people are probably wondering how I'm playing the game already. If you don't know, you probably live under a rock. Everybody took a flight to New Zealand. Let's just say that. I heard there's even a way to play on PC right now, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know about that, but currently I'm on PlayStation. I know my next challenge is to get tax dance kills, but I don't even know how to do that. Yo! There we go. Once you get up top here, you are vibing. I don't even use streaks. When I'm going for camos, I literally just go for kills. That's all I do. Regular kills with my weapon, nothing else. Nope. These guys are after me. Okay, I need to level it up just one more time and then we can do the tax stance kills. The great thing about this camo grind is the fact that your tokens from Modern Warfare 2 transfer over to this game. So if you have a bunch of double weapon XP tokens that you just didn't use in Modern Warfare 2, you can put them use now. You can put them to use now in this game, which is, I don't know, I like that a lot. They always tend to give you a lot more weapon XP tokens or just XP tokens in general than you actually need for that current game. So for them to transfer over to the next game, I think that's a good idea. It just rewards people that grinded that last game, right? Wait, I think I'm level 30 now. We got it to level 30. So now we need to get tax stance kills. Oh, that's how we do it. Oh, this might be a little bit annoying. Oh, okay. It stays like that. So it's not actually going to be too bad. I thought I had to press down on a D-pad every time I wanted to do it. Ooh, that's a good jumper. I mean, it's all right. Like, get you. The range on it actually isn't too bad too. I thought you would have to be like extreme close range. Oh, never mind. In fairness, I'm probably on the best map to do this. So I can't really complain. Yeah, I definitely have to be a lot closer than I thought. There we go. There we go. Never mind. It was great to see everybody so excited to hop on the game. I don't know. After the beta, I feel like that got a lot of people really interested in this game. Obviously, the movement's really nice. The maps are the OG Modern Warfare 2 maps. It's just all a good recipe for a great game. I'm just hoping it translates well for the rest of the year. We'll see. Bro, I need these guys closer to me. There we go. I was inside. I don't know. This tag stance just seems kind of pointless. I think it works better when you're sliding. I think that's the whole point of it. But just using it in general, I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense to me. Ooh, I really want to get all of them out of the way on this map because if we get any other map, it might be looking slow. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, we got him. 25 kills. Okay, now oh, the game's about to end. But what we need to do for Gilded, I believe we need to get like three kills in one mag. So let's put the 60 round mag on. Let's make sure we got tax stance off as well. And we need to get a bunch of kills in one mag, which honestly seems like a really easy challenge if you just put a massive mag on. Right there was there's three in one mag. There's five. Can we make it six. Oh, never mind. Was that six? I think that was six. Six in one mag is kind of crazy. So that's not too bad whatsoever. Okay, so we've got it to level 30 now, which is good. That's our first max level weapon in this game. But also, if we go to the camos, we've got Monarch now, which is the tax stance one. Now we can get get three upper kit. Wait, I just did that. I, I literally just did that. Huh? Get three operator kills with one magazine 10 times. I could have sworn I just did that, no? See, now I'm scared. I don't like that. In every game, there's always a bugged challenge. And if this is that, if I could not actually complete this, then I'm about to lose four. I wonder if it's because I got six in one mag rather than just three. Maybe it's bugged to the point where you literally can only get three. I need one more. All right, that's three. I just got three operator kills in... All right, no, I won't get another one. Okay, let me leave this game and see if that counted. Please tell me that counted, bro. It did. So I can only get three. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> Okay, now we know what we know. That's a little bit easier. Also, look at that. I can use the ghoulie camo on the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. So if you don't want to grind this mastery camo, then you really don't have to. That was an easy one. See, because he was weak, I really only waste... This one's not playing. That is perfect. There we go. A few minutes later. Please tell me they counted. Please, please. <laughs> Bro, I didn't only get four. Wait, why did they not count? We already had one going into that game, so that would mean we only got three. That didn't happen. Okay, I don't know why they're not tracking. I'm losing four. Hopefully it works in this game. I don't really know what to say. I'm going to try and reload after every three kills and see if that works, but... Enemy down. Bro, I just got two assists. Are you flipping crazy? Okay, Reloaded. let me hit a reload. Now let me carry on. Hopefully that counted as one. It's annoying because for me to know whether that actually worked or not, I would have to leave the game. And do you know how much time that wastes? Down. Let me hit a reload because I got three kills. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, hit a reload because that was a triple. Drop them. What the flip? What did we? Oh, we got it. Get off my screen, jump shot. Yo, why do the medals have to block it? That was the perfect way to unlock it as well. Get me out of this game. Yo, the way that was blocked by the medals was so annoying. But yo, go to Gunsmith, customize, camo. There we go. We have got the gold camo of this game, Gilded, for the first weapon. So what we have to do to get Forged, we have to get Gilded for all of the assault rifles. And then we can do the Forged challenge, which is getting multi-kills. But we got gold or Gilded, whatever you want to call it. So let's check it out in a game. Little do these guys know I I've got gold already. <laughs> Ooh, wait, that looks a lot better in game. I'll be honest. I was scared of this. I really was. In the menu, it kind of just looks like a blueprint, but this actually looks clean. I like that. I've got to be one of the first people with this. One thing to note is, of course, you know, I'm grinding these camos, but I'm also making videos. So when I'm making videos, of course, I've got to edit the videos, record the videos like I am now. You know, if I wasn't making videos, I could literally just move on to the next weapon, which would save a lot of time. But you guys also need to keep in mind when you do see the videos that I upload, that means I got the camo probably a few hours before you've even seen it. You know, I got it a few hours ago, had to finish the video. Of course, I had to edit the video as well, which can take quite a while, a good few hours. And then I'm back to the grind, which usually means or is usually why I get zero sleep because I'm also making content at the same time. But now nah, this Gilded Camo makes me really happy because I'm definitely pleasantly surprised. Genuinely, I was so worried about this one just because I thought it was going to be kind of mid. But I know a lot of you are probably wondering, yo, Brad, how did you get Gilded so quick? Give us some tips. I've got you guys. So the best way to get this camo as fast as possible, this is the way I do it. And this is how I always manage to get these camos fast in this game. And it 
it was the same with Modern Warfare 2. The most difficult part of the grind is getting the weapons leveled up. That's the most difficult part. Because once you get the weapon leveled up, you've already pretty much naturally done some of the base camos anyway. And if you haven't, you can just finish them off by focusing on them when you've got the weapon leveled up. And you also know you have to level up the weapon in order to do the final base camo anyway. So what I do is as soon as I move on to a weapon, I focus on leveling up the gun. That's all I do. Strictly kills. I don't even look at what the camo challenges are yet. Strictly kills. Get the weapon leveled up as fast as possible. Then once you get to the max level, it would help if you have double weapon XP. By the way, they transferred over from the last game. So that helps out a lot. Once you do that, that's when you start focusing on the camos. And like I said, naturally, you probably will have done most of the base camo challenges anyway, because you've got the weapon max level. The base camo challenges usually are very simple. You know, they could be headshots, close range kills, whatever it is. Most of the time you do those anyway when just going for regular kills. So you'll have a lot of them done. If not, just finish them off once you've got the weapon max level. And then you can work on the gilded camo. Now the gilded camo for me was, of course, they're getting three kills in one magazine. I think the main thing that was bugged for me and the way you actually make it track is reloading after each three kills. I think once you reload, that's what confirms it as, oh, he got three kills with one mic rather than getting three kills and then dying, you know? And that's pretty much it. Once you do that, you are complete. Oh, I'm running out of the map. <laughs> Anyway, we got gilded for the first assault rifle. Now we can start working on this second one. I assume the camo challenges are a little bit different. 50 kills, 50 ADS kills, headshots, 25 kills in tax stance. That's fairly similar to the first one. And then, yeah, actually, no, it's really similar to the first one. So I'm going to start working on this once I get this video done. Thanks for watching. Tonight, I'm going to try and unlock the platinum camo. It's going to be a lot of grinding, but I'm not going anywhere. So might as well. But yeah, before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo, man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. There's a bunch of fire stuff on there. And my code brothers will get you a discount at checkout. So go make use of that. And yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe tonight. Stay tuned.